afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another bout of Propaganda Cast News, the only news source you can trust in this chaotic modern day and age. So we've got an update here for the Commander Remap mod, and certainly some of them are quite substantial. So let's look at it. Starting out here with the USF and Mechanized. The 76 mod Sherman is receiving some changes. For starters, it loses its veteran 3 reload modifier, which may shoot really fast and it's gaining more penetration and now gains H rep rounds. Which had even more penetration and accuracy, but they do shoot slower, basically meaning a veteran 3 Sherman is going to be pretty good versus heavier armor. For starters, though, in some ways it's going to struggle a bit there, so I'm not entirely sure what these full results are going to be. It's going to require some testing, obviously, but in some ways it still kind of feels a bit like they were loading it just a bit. Well, at least this time, that does seem to pay off, though they might also want to make those 8 rat rounds just a bit more rubbish versus infantry, just to be sure. Looking at the British sappers, their field recovery sappers now require one command point, so there's a bit of change there. And the fort observation point upgraded fort assemblies, so now share apparently some wider cooldowns so that you can't just spam stuff there. And some other limits are basically nothing big for the Brits this time around. For the KB2, less penetration, but they gain more deflection to compensate. And basically shoots faster now in siege mode, it seems, if I'm not mistaken, this, reading this incorrectly. And now the Ford H headquarters requires some command points. You can't just rush to a building, pop it down, and bobs your angle. So that's going to slow down that bit, which is good. That one was kind of nuts in some cases. As for NKBD, rough disruption, the commons so now can heal troops around and gain some medic. So sort of make it look like cooler there. Not a bad change. I mean, it's like aesthetic changes. Still wish we got squad leaders for the infantry squads that way. And can no longer recruit team weapons, so he loses a bit of utility there, I guess. And then scorched earth. Basically now to denies the resource sector from being captured. I imagine that's after it goes off, as it doesn't particularly mention that, for 90 seconds, meaning it can be now more used for disruption. So that's kind of nasty, kind of nasty, but nothing huge. Not, you know, again, 76 months show, I'm just gaining tons of penetration, huge. Moving on to the Wehrmacht, and this is probably some of the bigger changes inbound here with this update. Stormtroopers now gain smoke grenades and they replace the bunk grenade with an incendiary grenade, which is better versus cashews. In most situations, that's going to matter, but say for encirclement, this is actually kind of big. You know, one of the biggest, you know, counters to close the pocket, Cassius. Hello. I mean, for me, that's great. I mean, I'm a bit sad about losing the button grenade, but on the other hand, they also gain the commando camouflage, meaning when they burst out of cover, they gain a bonus of damage as well. So done correctly, you can still do tons of damage. And again, if you can quickly clear up catches with the stormtroopers, that opens up some windows. Plus, the smoke grenades can have to cover up other stuff as well. So, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I mean, I'm not a huge 100% sure of it, but it definitely has potential. The other big one, this is huge as well, the 250 half track. I mean, you get it here without any of the troops in it. You can build it in your base for 210 manpower, 20 fuel and fat straight from headquarters using a bit of tech up. But here's the big thing. It gets a machine gun. You read that correctly, or heard that correctly, and read it correctly. It comes with a machine gun now. This is huge. It never had that. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't get the gun shield, which does make it look slightly wonky, but, I mean, in the bigger picture of things, it's got a bloody machine gun, like it was supposed to, all along. This is huge. I mean, that's the, allowed you to provide some actual support. That's going to make the call in, because this also affects the mechanized assault groups. And the mechanized, you know, infantry calling groups that were mechanized making assault much better. Because now the half track's not just a self propelled bucket. It's an actual half track with machine guns. Sure, it can't reinforce by the looks of it, but it has a machine gun. It can gain veterans and it has shared veterans. This is huge. This is massive. And on top of that, it gains an ability to dig in, which gives it suppression and increases the range. It does less damage, though. I mean, if you want to suppress with it, you're less concerned about that and just more concerned with the suppression. Plus, it has a nice arc of fire. So in theory, you can use this to you know, slow down assault to just get up some good flanks. I mean, this is massive. This is something that's supposed to have been there for ages. But now, we finally got it. Finally, Relic, we're getting a machine gun and a half track. This is, yes, great. Like, this is big just on, you know, personal level to finally see the 250 half track not just being, you know, a self moving bathtub. I mean, this is big. Plus, I mean, veterans against all that and again, suppression. This is nice. I'll definitely look forward to testing out some more of that suppression, see how what it works out and what it can do with it. But that's not all. That is not all. We're moving on to defensive doctrine, 
where you now get advanced defensive position which contain both a bunker and concrete bunkers. Specifically, it's the bunker straight from Company Who's one. It's the Wehrmacht ones. You can basically upgrade them to the machine guns or repair station. That's it. They're quite tougher though. They can survive an artillery strike and a satchel charge. And they're going to be much harder to take down. They're also a bit more expensive, but you know, you're putting it down. No, it's also lower resolution because it's straight from Company Who's one. It looks a bit funny. It stands out. But then again, I guess a big fat concrete bunk is going to stand out anyways. But it's there. Also looks like the Stugi gets a small change to how it works. In some ways it seems the fact in most ways a bit of a nerf. So we'll have to see how that works out. And then we get to the old commander's elite armor. Oh, there's also some substantial changes there. So emergency crew repairs now just a bit cheaper, also a bit faster. And then they get the 221-223. Which replaces signal really. The 221, of course, you know, being the previous version of the 222, so basically just a machine gun scout car, which used to sort of move about, shoot stuff there, put some pressure on the opponent, good stuff, but can also lay down medic kits, and then it can be upgraded for a bit of extra to the 223, which can then double as a fuel cache for you, and also deck stuff. And it also uh, gains uh, smoke screens as well, you know, similar to Panzer Titian, so yeah, pretty big change there, something more substantial for the Germans. We'll certainly have to see how that some of this old stuff works out. Concrete bunkers, stormtroopers now with a camouflage from the commandos, plus smoke grenades and grenades and clear for catches, and the 250 half track with machine guns. Praise the Lord! Praise the bloody Lord! Again, that one is just massive. You know, just you know, personal level, but even then it can, it's just going to make all of these 250 half tracks much more useful. And I think of not for more strategies for the Wehrmacht. So this is great. I'm definitely again looking forward to trying that and seeing how much we can sort of get out and then also see how good the suppression is because good mobile suppression is definitely a rarity for the Wehrmacht but I think at times could certainly also you know give up some new op openings there. So I'm looking forward to this and this certainly looks very exciting, very exciting and certainly been fun to try out. So those are the news for now. Hopefully this has got you just as excited as I am and you know we'll get in there and test it out. This is Imperial Lane signing off for now. If you like what we do, by the way, you can donate or pledge on Patreon. I'll links in the description. I'll be to keep doing videos all the time, every day. And I'll actually be back another time another video. Cheers, everybody. You all a wonderful audience. Bye.